Hello, Victor family, and welcome to the Wednesday Word, a brief encouragement from Scripture. Just a couple weeks ago, we celebrated three of the most important events of Jesus' life as he walked this earth, his death, burial, and resurrection. Jesus overcame the world, and he defeated sin once and for all. But what about us? How can we overcome the world and the sin that's associated with it? Well, I think today's scripture will give us that answer. Let's take a look at 1 John 5, verse 4. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Most, if not all of us, struggle with sinfulness and worldly behavior. And as hard as we might try, we just always seem to fall short of overcoming it. But I think this verse today gives us a promise that we're not alone in trying to solve this problem. There's actually three specific things that Christians are instructed to overcome. The world, the flesh, and the devil. In each case, though, we've been given the tools to do just that. For instance, James tells us that if we submit to God and resist the devil, he will flee from us. So you see, we're not alone in trying to battle our sin. If we seek God, submit to him, and turn from the devil, God will cause the devil to flee from us. We also see in Ephesians where Paul lists the weapons of spiritual warfare that we need to overcome the spiritual enemy. The answer to overcoming the works of the flesh, though, is to walk in the Spirit and adhere to the truth. Walk in the Spirit and adhere to the truth. Well, what's the truth and where is it? Well, the truth isn't in society. The truth can't be found on the internet or through social media. The truth is and can be found in the Word of God. It's the Word of God that gives us helpful instructions on how to be filled with the Spirit and how to resist our sinful desires. The Bible tells us in Galatians 5.25, if we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Well, what does it mean to walk in the Spirit? Well, to walk in the Spirit is to yield to God's control, to follow His lead, to allow Him to exert His influence over us. To walk in the Spirit is the opposite of resisting Him or grieving Him. We should walk in harmony and fellowship with God and allow Him to direct our paths. The Apostle John today explains to us in our verse how to overcome the world. He says again, and this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. You see, it's our faith that overcomes the world. Our faith in what though? Our faith must have an object. Well, we know that object is Jesus Christ. It's our faith in the person and work of the Lord Jesus Christ that gives us the victory over the world and its sinfulness. It's trusting in the death, burial, and resurrection for the forgiveness of our sin and everlasting life. That's what overcomes the world. That's what this verse means. It means that since we are creations of God, we are born of God, as the verse says, <clears throat> and because of our faith in his son, Jesus Christ, we too have overcome the world. It's our identification with Christ in his work on the cross by faith that causes us also to be overcomers. It was Jesus himself who said in, Galatians, in John 16, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. You see, we're identified with his death. We're identified with his victory over the world, sin, and death. Because the Lord has overcome the world, we who trust in his name have also overcome the world because of our association with him. So when we struggle with our sinfulness and world behavior, worldly behavior, let's remember our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and his work on the cross gives us the victory that overcomes the world. Let's pray. Our gracious Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, that you sent your Son to die on the cross 
that he has overcome the world and that he has defeated sin once and for all. And that because of our faith in him, we too can overcome the world. Oh Lord, help us to seek you and to allow you to direct our ways and our paths. Oh Lord, we just love you so very much and we thank you. And we pray these things in your precious and holy name. Amen. Well, I pray that these have been encouraging words to you. Have a great rest of your week and God bless.